Yavapai Broadcasting and the City of Cottonwood proudly present Inside Cottonwood, an inside look at the decisions and issues of the City of Cottonwood. Brought to you by Arizona Smile Designers. Welcome to Inside Cottonwood. I'm Mayor Diane Jones, your host, and today we have with us Barbara Dimber, who is was recently elect, elected or appointed, appointed the um, president and CEO of the Verde Valley Medical Center. Welcome, Barbara. Thank you. We're excited to be introducing you to our television community today, and we welcome you to the hospital, and we're very excited to see you there. Um, I've already enjoyed meeting with you, and you're very community-oriented and community-minded, which, as a mayor, it's truly appreciated because the Verde Valley Medical Center, our hospital, is so important and so central to our community. So first off, I'd like to learn a little bit about you and your background, and as I understand it, you've worked with the hospital since about 2009, this particular hospital. That's right. And you also um, were interim, you were interim president for several months, and then just recently, I think last month in September sometime, the board of directors chose you for the permanent position, so congratulations. Thank you so much. That's so exciting. So you have like lots of little letters behind your name, <laughs> and one is M-H-A and F-A-C-H-E. What do those stand for? Well, an M-H-A is a Master of Science in Healthcare Administration. Okay. So I, that is what my uh, graduate degree is in. And then F-A-C-H-E is a designation um, with the American College of Healthcare Executives. So I'm a fellow of the American College of Healthcare Executives. Okay. So that tells us a little bit about your background. So where did you grow up and where did you go to high school and then college? Yeah, absolutely. I am a native Arizona and I say That's that. Tucson. I say that very, very proudly. <laughs> I am a native. I uh, was born and raised in Tucson. I'm a graduate of the University of Arizona. Okay, uh, met my husband at, at the U of A. I went to high school in Tucson at Rincon High School for anyone that uh, is from Tucson or is familiar with Tucson. Um, so yes, I am a native and I, I, I'm very, very committed to health care in our state and particularly now, obviously, in the northern part of our state. Right, and you're going to be very kept very busy with the American health care, or no, the um, not the American Health Care Act. With the Affordable, affordable Health Care Act. Affordable, affordable. Yes. I always yes. want to call it the American. The Affordable Health Care Act, and I know that's going to create some huge changes in how you do business, and I'm sure it's... Um, been a lot of work to try to anticipate and make the relationships. I know you've made relationships with the Verde Valley caregivers and other organizations that can um, help you keep people from going back into the hospital, those who maybe need some care at home to help them out. And, uh, and you've been working on those kinds of issues to be ready for all of the changes that are coming about. I was reading that you are um, also a Lean Six Sigma green belt. <laughs> and I was picturing, you know, probably a, a master in karate or right. something oh, like yeah. that. I only wish. <laughs> <laughs> but as I studied about that, I, I learned that it's actually kind of a business designation. And it so is. do you want to share a little bit about that? You bet. Um, healthcare has, over the last decade, adopted um, what is known as the lean Toyota production system. And even though we're not in the car manufacturing business mm -hmm. or even in the manufacturing business, we learned a lot from manufacturing in the way we view uh, the key processes that exist in a hospital setting. And at the end of the day, the patient is on the other end of every process that we um, deliver each and every day. And to the degree that those are lean, and meeting the customer's needs and very focused on uh, the customer, the patient, and being effective and efficient, it meets uh, their expectation for an efficient and cost-effective experience as well as our need to uh, move people throughout the day in a very efficient manner. So we use those same principles from lean production methodology. Okay, e excellent. So really a hospital, it's, you know, we're so blessed in the Verde Valley to have 
the Verde Valley Medical Center. And as I understand it, it started out as a small clinic back in 1939, and I know it was in Old Town at one time. And then at, when I moved here in 1986, it was a much smaller version of itself. And now we have the beautiful four-story building that I you know, love to look at. And it's just such a central part of our community. And it, it's a lot about health care, but there's more to it than that. Because you are probably our high, you employ the most people in Cottonwood at least, if not many, you're, you're up there in the amount of employment that you provide. So you are providing employment for more than 800 people, as I understand it. We're now up over 1,000. Over 1,000, <laughs> okay. So there's 1,000 uh, families who benefit from working at the Verde Valley Medical Center where the jobs are high paying. And it's the kind of industry that a, a small town loves to attract. And so you are creating a great quality of life in our community and those of us in the city, mayors and such, that are interested in economic development understand what you do for the Verde Valley in the way of quality, adding to our quality of life, you know, just our standard of living. So those, those things as a mayor, that's something that I truly appreciate. And um, so keep up the great work on that. And as I understand it, we have 99 beds. And so, you know, what does that mean, 99 beds? In a scale of 1 to 10, we're a very small town. It's a fairly small hospital, I assume, but it seems very big to a small town girl. Well, you know, I, I think that's an interesting question. Um, it really isn't a small rural hospital in, in the true sense of the word. Um, those would be hospitals that are 50 beds or okay. less. So we're, we're, we're a mid, middle-sized middle hospital, I would hospital. say. Uh, we're you know certainly not large. But mm -hmm. for this community and the size of community that we have, I think it, it, it is a very robust array of services that are being provided there. And I think it's less important to focus on the number of beds mm -hmm. as it is to focus on the array and the comprehensiveness of the services being provided. Because really, people don't go into the hospital too often anymore. And when they go into the hospital, they don't stay long. That's right. And mm -hmm. so most of your care, or a lot of your care, is really doesn't focus on how many beds you have, but it's so many other services, the heart and vascular services and, and the cancer services. And I, I use those examples because they've impacted my own personal life in such a positive way. So I think of those first. But um, share a little bit about other things, all the things that your hospital does. And, you know, really why I invited you here today was I wanted to talk about the, some, the awards that you've received in the past several years and just recently. But just share any kind of information you'd like to share with the public about the hospital and the services you provide. Great. Thank you. Well, I think what's very interesting to note, and it does tie to the bed question, uh, as we look at our revenue and our volumes, our outpatient revenue and volumes far exceed our inpatient revenue and volumes. Mm -hmm. So we really already are so much more than a hospital. We are the Verde Valley's healthcare system. Mm -hmm. And that system has to include the full continuum of care, everything from wellness and prevention all the way to needing to be uh, in an ICU if that's what mm -hmm. you require. Kidney dialysis. All of that, just... kidney dialysis. And I think the other unique aspect of Verde Valley Medical Center is we're part of a larger system. We are part of Northern Arizona Healthcare. Mm -hmm. And we, our sister hospital is Flagstaff Medical Center. So if we can't provide the service here, we have a helipad both here as well as in Sedona that can get you to the right care at the right time every time. And so we partner very closely with our sister hospital on the kinds of things that we don't offer here, which is very little. Mm -hmm. we, we pretty much offer the full continuum of care with the exception of open heart surgery, brain surgery, burns and transplants. Mm -hmm. And again, that is that is very, very uh, outstanding for a community of this size Absolutely. to have access to Absolutely. those services. We still have gaps, and I'm identifying those. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's a very comprehensive array of services in multiple locations. We have locations in Camp Verde, Village Sedona. of Oak Creek, Sedona, and then, of course, here in Cottonwood. Mm -hmm. As far as our awards, I, I'm just so proud, and I say this on behalf of 
not me, on behalf of the physicians, nurses, and the entire staff at Verde Valley Medical Center, we have just had such an amazing year of receiving uh, recognition for our work and for our focus on patient care and patient safety. Every one of the awards that we have received and we have been honored by, none of them are awards you can apply for. It isn't like a grant, gee, we could apply for this award or apply for that recognition. You cannot apply for these. Either you receive them or you do not, and it's announced to you, you know, about mm -hmm. a week before it goes public, and, and, and it's just been an amazing year of that. So one of them, there's so many that we're very proud of. Last year, we got U.S. News and World Report, one of the, state, one of the country's best community hospitals. Isn't that, that's fantastic. I know. So U.S. News, US News and, and World, World Report, Report, and they are tough cookies, and they do not ask you anything. Mm -hmm. You just either get it or you don't. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get that one again because they've changed the criteria. They're now only looking at hospitals with 100 beds or more, so darn it. Well, you missed it by, <laughs> uh, yeah, by just put out one, of bed. Put one in the hallway <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But, um, the advice, so let me start with Patient Safety Awards. We just received the Health Grades Patient Safety Excellence Award. That is one of the most premier awards in the country. Health Grades is really out there, and I would encourage any of the viewers to go to Health Grades. It's basically www.healthgrades.com. Mm -hmm. You can click on your state, you can click on your area, mm -hmm. um, and then you can click on hospital name, or you can click on, gee, who does the best job with hips and knees? Click, mm -hmm. boop. I'm happy to say in the state of Arizona, we're one of the top 10. That's awesome. And we just received five stars. <laughs> that's but that's fantastic. really important that that's an area of excellence for us because of our senior population and our aging population that want to be healthy and still get out and do things. They want those hip and knee replacements. Absolutely. And we are, we are so blessed with a group of incredibly talented orthopedic surgeons and orthopedic nursing staff and teams mm -hmm. in the OR. So we're blessed with that five-star award. Uh, probably the third year in a row for that and one of the top ten in the state of Arizona. So you don't need to go to Phoenix so, or Scottsdale for that. Absolutely, and I have friends who have had the surgery and are singing praises that they can hike again. I, That's they, right. They do Facebook Facebook photos and they're hiking and they're just, you know, they're just living life again. Right. And you it's, know, it's, we need to take a short break okay. and we'll be right back. Having a fire escape plan is very important to keep your family safe and together in the event of a fire. When you awake to the sound of a smoke detector and smoke in your room, don't stand straight up. Carefully roll off your bed and stay low under the smoke. If your door is shut, feel the door with the back of your hand. Slowly open the door if no heat is felt. Always stay low until you get to the outside of your home. Always have two ways out of your house and a specified meeting place somewhere outside your home. Home escape plans should be drawn up and rehearsed on a regular basis. This could be the difference between life and death if caught in a fire. Welcome back to Inside Cottonwood. I'm Mayor Diane Jones, your host, and we have Barbara Dember from the Verde Valley Medical Center with us today. She's the president and CEO. And we were just talking about some of the awards when we had to take the break, and we didn't quite finish with that. And I think we could probably talk for several hours about all of the awards that the hospitals received recently. But go ahead and start with the next one. Yeah, I wanted to also talk to you about um, the Patient Safety Excellence Award. Um, we are one of only five hospitals in the country that have received that award three years in a row. That's amazing. Or excuse me, five years, five in, a years row. in a row. And that is a very premier award. They came out and we had such a big celebration well, with I that. compliment you but for that. But that really is all about patient safety. And that is a key priority of mine and all of us at Verde Valley Medical Center is to keep our patients safe. Not only to get them well, but to keep them safe when they're in our, in our um, hospitals and our uh, 
campuses. The other award that I think is important to note is the LeapFrog Group, and again, you can Google LeapFrog and mm -hmm. go to their website. LeapFrog was started about 15 years ago by several major corporations in the United States. Boeing was one of them uh, that I can recall. Uh, IBM, 3M, they came together as a consortium of, of large corporations in our country to say, we want to buy health services for our employees only at places that meet certain criteria. And so to get the LeapFrog Award and to get the A-plus LeapFrog Award is no small feat. Those people have very, very high standards, and they tell their insurers, their Blue Cross or Aetna or whomever they're insured with, we prefer to have our people go to these hospitals, so go get contracts with them. So wow. we have the A-plus award from LeapFrog, and again, fully independent um, award. None of this happens without a fully engaged team. Here at Verde Valley Medical Center, we have one of the best teams I've ever worked with. I just, I'm so honored every day to come and work alongside the doctors and nurses. And what do you have about 100 staff. physicians? Yeah, we have about 100 physicians okay. on staff. Um, we have some of the best nurses, not only in the state, in the country, technicians, and all of our wonderful, wonderful support staff at VVMC. We're all caregivers, whether we touch patients or not. And with that, it's important that they be very highly engaged in our mission. Mm -hmm. And we just received a wonderful award from the advisory board company um, listing us as one of the top employers and having excellence and engagement in our staff. And we're at this above the 75th percentile across the country in staff. And it seems like staff. that's been happening for several years now, yes. too. I attended something several years ago that, that yeah. um, recognized your employees. Yeah, it's quite a, it's a, it's a process, and mm -hmm. we're there, and I feel like we really have improved our customer service. If you look at uh, the PRC, which is a professional research corporation, we deliver excellence in customer service, and I know I've heard that that wasn't always the reputation of the hospital, but now everyone should be greeted in the hospital with warmth and caring and a helpful attitude. Um, you walk down the hall, everybody's smiling, and, and we mean it. We're, we're, we're so happy to be there and so honored to serve this community. And you know, last time I visited, I noticed that, that people were engaged, they asked how I felt, what I thought, and it, yes, I can see that you've worked very hard on that. So um, we, we always hear um, patients are our purpose. So that's, that's right. kind of your tagline or your, your brand, I guess, right, right now. Right, that's right. So any other awards that you've been Receiving. Well, there are just so many. I think um, I think I've covered uh, most of them. We also have um, some awards that we've re received for our heart and vascular program from the American Heart Association. We're a Gold Plus uh, awardee for the way we take care of strokes and heart conditions and blood pressure and all of that. So and you have such talented staff um, on your team there. Yes. Because my family's experienced it personally and uh, my husband had heart failure in February and he's back working now. I mean, he's just a testament for what the Verde Valley Medical Center's physicians can do for a person to bring back their quality of life when something devastating happens to them. And we're adding to our physician group, you know, um, you kind of mentioned the Affordable Care Act in the beginning. Uh, that has pushed uh, the decline in reimbursement and the, the high expectation on physician offices in terms of the costs that are being uh, mandated in the office setting with uh, information technology. Many physicians cannot financially make it in a community like this because we are so Medicare reliant. Mm -hmm. And Medicare, as most people know, pays about 25 to 30 cents on the dollar. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult for a private physician to sustain themselves financially here. So over the years, many of the physicians that we all love and go see and who take care of us came to the hospital and said, we need to be employed. And so we're adding to that because we understand that with health reform, it's about keeping people well, and we need more doctors on the outpatient side to provide that. Exactly. We're going to stop and take another short break, okay. and then we'll come back and finish up in just a moment. I'm one on Monkey Guy. The chance of being involved in a robbery is 1 in 757. Chances of being struck by lightning. <sighs> One in 750,000. These fasten your seatbelts for unexpected turbulence. 
the chances of being a victim in an airline crash? One in 29 million. Hey, could I get some peanuts? The chances of being involved in a car crash are far greater than lightning strikes and plane crashes. And if you are texting while driving, your risk of crash increases 23 times. Now, I may be an unlucky guy, but I don't have to be part of that statistic, and neither do you. Drive responsibly. Welcome back to Inside Cottonwood, and we have our, I'm your host, and we have Barbara Dimp from the Verde Valley Medical Center with us today, and we're just learning all kinds of things about our community hospital that means so much to all of us because we count on good health care, and, you know, I just feel blessed to have the hospital in our communities because I was pretty young when I moved to Cottonwood. I was maybe 34, and in those days, you didn't think much about a hospital, but the older my husband and I get, the more grateful we are <laughs> that we have that hospital so close. And, um, you know, when, as you get older in age, you, you need those kinds of services, and, and so we're very grateful. But let's talk about community outreach. That is something that you have said um, as president and CEO that's very important to you. So what is the hospital doing um, with community outreach? What's coming up? Well, I think it's incredibly important, and if there's anything that I want to leave as a legacy in my time here is that this become the community's hospital. And I'll know we've been successful with that when people say, and you said it, Diane, and I really appreciate it, that you're so grateful for our hospital. When people can say, that's my hospital, our mm -hmm. hospital versus the hospital mm -hmm. or your hospital. And the way you do that is by engaging your community. Mm -hmm. I believe the hospital is a community asset and it should be a treasured asset and one that everybody is supportive of. And in order to get that kind of support, you have to engage the community and say, what, what services do you expect to see here and find here? How are we doing in meeting your needs? And the only way to gather that kind of input and engagement is to reach out. And so <clears throat> we've been having a series of meetings. We started off with local dignitaries, as you know. We mm -hmm. had mayors and other government officials and, and Chamber of Commerce folks. So we did those on an invited basis where we were actually talking about what should we be building here in the future, here in Cottonwood. We've been having these meetings in Camp Verde as well as in, in Sedona. And we've gotten some wonderful feedback so far. Now we're going to spread this out to the entire community. We'll be holding a series of community open houses. Great. They will be facilitated by uh, the architectural firm that we've hired to help us build uh, the Verde Valley Medical Center of the future, not just a hospital, but mm -hmm. really more of our outpatient pavilion that we want to build here. Mm -hmm. And we want to hear from the community. We want to know what you think about what we're doing, what we should do differently, what that building might house, where it should be located, um, what it should look like, feel like. And those will be the last week of October. I believe October 28th is one of the days, but I would encourage the viewers to really look for, we'll be promoting it, advertising it in the paper and radio and so okay. forth. Okay, so you're just really um, reaching out <coughs> to the community and, and what does your hospital mean to you and how can we be of better service to you and right. provide for you? And you know, I talked about the elderly and we have that component in our community, but you just built a four-story hospital and you have an amazing maternity floor yeah, there beautiful. and just a beautiful birthing center. Do you want to share a little bit of information about that? Absolutely. It is beautiful. And, you know, really, I encourage the community, even if you're not of childbearing age, um, just to really see what we are capable of doing in healthcare today. You walk on the floor, it doesn't look anything like a hospital. It doesn't have that intimidating feel, mm -hmm. and I hope to think none of our facilities do. But that floor is really special. When you walk down the hall, you truly feel like you're in a in a very nice hotel or resort. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, I've been the, the, up there. The, the lighting, <laughs> the colors, the materials, um, it's a very unique experience. And all the moms um, and dads are able to stay in one room from labor through delivery, which is very, very nice. It's wide open space where the whole family can be yes, there if that's what oriented. the mom chooses. Mm -hmm. There's certainly a place for uh, dad to, to stay the night and to sleep. And um, so we're very proud of that uh, department. 
it's just a family experience if that's what the mother wants in the, mm -hmm. the family. And yes, so it's it's just such a positive thing. Um, and then you have all the support services for for children and families as right. as they raise their children. And you're always there for them, also. Absolutely, and I think one of the programs that is just front and center um, in terms of children in this community is our Fit Kids program. I am really excited about how we've expanded that. We'll do more next year. Uh, we're actually saying to the community, look, we've got Fit Kids, it's located here, come mm -hmm. on in, and we've got clinicians and dietitians and exercise physiologists to really get our kids on the right track at a very early age with their nutrition and their activity levels. Absolutely. But we also now are out in some of the schools, and, and we I hope to be out that. in more of the schools next year. You know, I've served on the steering committee of Fit Kids since its inception and really enjoyed, you know, participating in that. And it just does add so much to the community um, to have this education for children and their families because it's really not just about the children, it's about their families also. And I think that's a wonderful service and I'm so happy to, to hear that you support it. And it's very exciting. I know in Flagstaff, the hospital gave these schools quite a, a nice grant uh, to bring exercise back to the to school right and that's been very successful as I understand it and now this year you're bringing those grants to the Verde Valley um, Verde Valley and our schools are going to benefit from that and so you have a measure you measure you know your success and it, you've had a lot of success in those yeah. programs. Now we got to take it from fit kids to fit adults. Exactly. So we're trying to get out ahead of um, obesity and diabetes and all the other diseases that are associated with that. But we, we have many, many adults in our community that suffer from diabetes, which is a very, very challenging disease, disease. to live with and to manage, but, but it is manageable but we need to have fit adults. And so Absolutely. you'll see us really starting to do more and more in the way of um, education, uh, cooking classes, screenings, uh, support for those that have diabetes or even the pre-diabetics to mm -hmm. help them not go into full-fledged diabetes exactly. um, or heart disease. And so you'll see the hospital doing more and more in terms of community outreach and education mm -hmm. and screening outside the four walls of the hospital. We're right. gonna bring it to the community. And those are some services that I'm sure that I could use and you know think about myself. So that's exciting news for me and many others in the community also. Okay. So we have just a couple more minutes and I'll just give you an opportunity to kind of wrap it up and share with us anything that we haven't covered yet or anything that you'd like your community to know about Verde Valley Medical Center. Well, I hope they know that we're here for them. We're delighted to be, we want to be your your hospital um, and, and go into that together, really um, embracing one another as we go on this journey of what healthcare is gonna look like in the future. But I do wanna put a plug in for the, for, um, the new healthcare marketplace and the health exchanges. Um, I know that it's uh, been difficult to get on that website, but keep trying, uh, www.healthcare.gov. Uh, um, okay. And that is when you click on the state of Arizona and it will take you to the Arizona website where you can sign up for independent healthcare insurance. And it's very important that every Arizona and, and every uh, Cottonwood and Verde Valley resident have health insurance, it's Absolutely. very important, and it's there for you. If we can be of assistance, call the hospital. We have people that know how to help you get logged on to that. Fill out the form, you, can, you may qualify for assistance with it. If not, it's a great way to get coverage that otherwise would not available to you. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's going to be very important for our citizens, our community members, to check this out and um, sign up for that health care and get that insurance and it, it I've been on the exchange and looked at it myself and it looks reasonable compared to what I'm paying for health insurance right now it I'm like wow that looks really nice so um, those are opportunities for the community's wellness yes that we can all be well that we can all access insurance that there um, won't be pre-existing conditions. That's going to help a lot of people, I know, and that if you have a catastrophic illness, that you're going to be taken care of. That's right. 
So those are all benefits of the health exchange and the, the new insurance program. So it's been great visiting with you, and Thank I you. enjoy working with you in the community. We've met several times, and I have a really great feeling about the direction that the Verde Valley Medical Center is going in and appreciate your support of the community. Appreciate our physicians, they are awesome. I love my doctor, Dr. Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Dr. Heilbrand is my, my husband's doctor from the Heart and Vascular Center. So uh, just great, great people providing they health are. services. So thank you all and all of your employees also. Thank you, Diane, it's been a pleasure <laughs> visiting with you today. You're welcome. So um, we're signing off until the next show, and I just want to say that's the way it is in Cottonwood.